Hey guys, welcome to, uh, well, it's a combination uh, unboxing and review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com with me, Duvall. I am my buddy, Dave Draper. Yay! I, I may have, I may, there may have been some, some, some unboxing, unboxery going on before, before I got here. You know what, next time you spend the $500. Uh, that's a good call, good call. Yeah. But I've wait two years. <sighs> It's been a long, long, and it's been a long time. arduous wait for for but, to get to, yes, but I think it's more than worth it. I think so. I think so. Uh, of course, if you clicked on the video, yeah, you if know you clicked what on the link, about. you know what we're talking about because it's right there in the, the, yes. the title thing. We are talking about the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks, the second full shipment the, of the uh, the Kickstarter All In. Uh, uh, for the David. final All In. Um, that's that's so much a bigger box plus, than the last box. Uh, we you know we won't go into it too much, but plus anything that you ordered from the well in my case, stuff I ordered from the store, and the uh, uh, they briefly put up the con exclusive, the traveling con exclusive that you could buy from the store. Um, yes. So that's that that all came together. Uh, there's also there was also a little box in there that yeah uh, yeah which I can't like having having repacked it I don't know where it went but yes but this actually is the uh, this is the print this is the print that uh, that came with one of the uh, the Kickstarters. The, the the levels I think I think everyone got one of these didn't they Yeah but this was the uh, the very cool uh, Vitruvian hacks print there of Medusa fighting one of the, the basically turning one of the warriors into stone pretty cool ooh, ooh, ooh. look into her eyes you're stone ha <laughs> ha no, I'm just kidding no, on, not really me. hey man crap happens dude roll that back up into there and put that bad boy back in there. Now Dave has to go get a print for his retrieving hacks. Uh, a frame for the print. <laughs> What's in the box? Stuff. <gasps> Ooh, stuff. I like um, stuff. Like a lot of stuff. We've got the actual regular figures. Now understand, we're not going to review every figure individually. We're going to talk about a few of them, a number of them, uh, in, in Black a little Racer's bit detail. Black Racer's one of those I ordered, so we looked yes. at her before. Yes. Um, so we'll, we'll, we're going to talk about a number of these. But these are waves 2, 3, and 4. Of the line, we've gotten wave one. Got wave one, and uh, the black racer was included with the first shipment, even yes. though she's wave three. Yes. Uh, it just it keeps coming and coming and coming. And these are just the regular carded figures. How? How, how many? How many more? Um, several. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, well, I don't get around when I go on, son. Apparently not. So that's the regular carded figures. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus the the 5 that we got it before. Yes. So these are the accessory sets. Yes, which we'll take a look at. Yeah. Um, they're... Now they, they, actually, they actually use these in the package, when they package the box, they use these as spacers between the oh, two. Oh, between the figures? Yeah. Uh, but out of the uh, the waves, we'll, uh, they're, they're not in any order of waves, but uh, uh, we have uh, wave three, uh, Ureli. Uh, yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah. I think it's Ureli. But... Ureli, but my pronunciation would be. Yeah. Uh, who is the, one of the uh, the sisters, the youngest of the Gorgon sisters. So uh, we'll... It was Steno, Medusa, Steno, Medusa, and Ureli. Uh, the disciple of Ureli. Yeah, her, like according to the text, her shtick is she doesn't turn them into stone, she poisons them and makes them her minions. Yes. Uh, another Spartan Warrior, which we've... Uh, uh, that might be an extra that I ordered. Oh, it is. Never mind. Here, take that one. I'm out. sorry. We don't, we don't you know what? Uh, Leonidas. Classic. This, this is, yeah. Classic character. Uh, Stano. Stano, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, the uh, Mermidian Warrior. Myrmidon, I believe, but I'm not 100% not sure. I'm, I'm saying I'm not 100% sure. The, these are all the, the Amazon Warrior. Yeah. Pretty cool. These are all the Kickstarter specials. The Athenian Warrior. The uh, Calubria Guard, who's I think that's the Milk Snake yeah, uh, that's paint job. Pretty pretty darn amazing. We have the Underworld Warrior, yeah. which is part of Hades Army, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, we have Stone Fist. Yeah, Stone Fist was a uh, stretch goal. Um, 
He's like a guy who was partially partially turned to stone. Well, he was he was being turned to stone, and to save himself, he blinds himself. Yes. So he's only partially turned to stone, so and then apparently that turned him into Daredevil. Yes. Uh, Green Mamba, in the package figure, who's mm. again amazing. And these um, are the Kickstarter uh, exclusives. Yes. So we have uh, we have a, the, and these are all in, in white boxes, but we have the uh, Tartarus Guard. Tartarus. Tartarus. That's one of the female. Remember, bodies. kids, make sure you brush. Or else you'll have buildup of Tartarus. Yeah. That is, you proud of yourself? That is pretty cute. Uh, we have Medusa. Precursed Medusa. Before Pre -curse she turned Medusa. into a snake creature. Yes. Although she has snakes in her hair. And she's still already. green, too. Yeah. So. Yes, yes. Uh, then we have the Afterlife Spartan vs. Gorgon, which and is... This is the one that will make... Da uh, if Danny didn't get this one, it's the one he'll make him cry. Which, yeah. Translucent. Which we, this is one of the ones we will take a look at. Yeah, we'll take a look at all. We'll, we'll definitely crack open all the box stuff. Yeah, um, and then Celestial Pierce, uh, Perseus vs. Medusa. I almost couldn't say. Yeah, that. this this is this is kind of a cool theoretical one because it's based on the uh, uh, the uh, the stars. Yeah, the stars. What uh -huh. am I thinking of? The constellations. The constellations. Yes. Um, so, uh, although hers is the Hydra rather than necessarily Medusa. Yes, and then we've got a, a ton of accessory sets in various colors and they're all colors. they're all they all have different stuff. I mean, yeah. they're all based on the same templates. This is all gear that comes with the figures. Yeah. But they all have different like uh, This one is uh, this one is bone. Yeah. So we have a, a bone coloring colorization there. This one is unearthly green. Oh. We have it's, the, it's nice that they show you the stuff on the back too. Yep, we have a blood red one which uh, of course all the weapons and stuff are in that color. We have fire red which is the translucent red one. Oh, black which was one of the huge that's the one that's goals. sold out on their site. <clears throat> um, we have a uh, glow in the dark. ghost light, which is the glow in the dark set, which is pretty cool. Which is another one that uh, Pixel Dan didn't get. This he's going to be very, uh, very sad and jealous because oh. uh, he likes gold glowing stuff. Yeah. Uh, silver, and of course those are all the accessory sets. Now we're jumping ahead just a little bit because I did order online their their traveling convention exclusive. Yep, this is uh, the Undead the, Warrior versus Ringneck Gorgon, which uh, is is pretty cool. This is. Uh, one of the the first of uh, several. I think they're doing a couple other. I, I have those, but I, I I ordered them separately from different places. There's a Kokomo Toys one, and then yes. there's the Nerd New Jersey Comic Con exclusive yes. uh, Warrior, which is basically like a Spartan Warrior, which is a bunch of extra stuff. They wanted something for the convention, but they didn't necessarily want it to be something that people would consider um, essential, right? For the mythology, so it's basically just the same Spartan Warrior with just a bunch of extra gear. Yes, so it's like Spartan Warrior with one of these thrown yeah. in. Yeah, and then. And then bag, bag full of skeletons of, and of, blanks. Oh, blanks! These, uh, these of course were uh, when when you went all in. Of course, you got everything, everything across the board that they and, made. Hence the clever name. Hence the clever name. But that included all of these customizable blank figures, which we've taken a look at a couple of. We the took blanks. a look at a couple. Yeah, we took yeah. a look at the blanks. And uh, to correct something that we kind of got wrong at the time. Uh, you can pretty much completely take them apart. The, yes. The upper half is all boink, boink? It's all jointed. All jointed. The boink's jointed? Yeah, so you can pop them apart pretty easily and they go back together pretty yes. easily. Um, I, I think we were a little reluctant to do that because we had just gotten them and... Yeah, that's my my amazing Dr. Manhattan custom. Or Iceman. Or Iceman. It's pretty darn... You, you did a good job on that custom. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm skilled. I got mad skills. You do have mad skills. Uh, uh, yeah, there's, I, as I said, I got into it, so, uh... I used, Dave may or may not have made a Skeletor. Yeah, used his head on... Yes. Uh, and for the record, uh, the skeleton... Skeletons. The skeleton heads, uh, don't... are not quite exactly, uh, the, the ball joint doesn't quite fit with the, uh, the blank bodies. Blank bodies. But you apply a little bit of a, a hairdryer on it and it fits just fine. I mean, there's, there's so... I mean, they did just about every color you could think of. For male and female blanks here. I mean, there's just, there's so friggin' many of them. Uh, which is cool. Have you decided what you're going to do with all your blanks? Are you no. keeping them all? Uh, well, yeah, I'm keeping everything. Yeah. I've already had, I've already had someone want to uh, pilch my uh, purple, my pink, your, my your pink, pink skeleton. skeleton. <laughs> Ama I mean, amazing stuff. I mean, just so much stuff. Um, but what do you say we crack open a few of these and take a look, at least all the box stuff up close and personal. Yeah, let's, and there's let's, a few let's, of the let's... figures we want to show off. But we're not gonna we're not gonna review everything because that would just take forever. And there's uh, there's plenty of stuff I know on uh, generaljoes.com. Our buddy. Um, 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 oh, now you got me blanking. Uh, he's part of uh, what's on Joe Mind. He is. Oh my God. And he's a, he's an author and. Uh, he's one of our friends, and I we're just we're old. 
We, should, just, we, we should cut this old. out of the... Probably. Probably. But if you go to generaljoes.com, uh, you can find a, 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 a plethora of, of written reviews with great photos and stuff. So you can... Uh, you can check all Justin. those. You can check all those out from our buddy Justin Bell. See, we got it. I'm leaving it in. That just shows how old we are. Yeah. And sad and pitiful. And it gives Mike Irizarry more fire. Yeah. Well, he needs it. But you can check that out. Uh, you can go check that out, GeneralJoes.com, and check out all the reviews of the great of retrieving hacks figures. But uh, let's take a look at a few of these up close and personal. Let's uh, let's let's take a look at some of this amazing stuff. It's so cool. All right, let's check out the Afterlife Spartan vs. Gorgon, the Ghosts of the Battlefield 2-pack, which um, was one of the one of the box sets to come out of the Kickstarter campaign. And, of course, inside here. Now, of course, the back of these boxes have the all of the, the bio information that the cards have. And, of course, the boxes are just black and white because they didn't print cards or anything for a lot of these. So, But here is what you get inside this, this amazing Afterlife Spartan vs. Gorgon set. I mean, look... Look at those figures. They are super cool. And I'm thinking Dave got into this one already. No. Well, I, I looked at them, but I didn't know. Oh, did really. you? I mean, these are uh, these are pretty spectacular translucent figures to begin with. I mean, like you've got a you've got this blue, this amazing uh, translucent blue Gorgon shield, which is pretty cool. Which it's hard to make out the details on camera because of the translucency, but. Uh, Pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's it is the same shield. Most of the gear is is used over and over again, but it, it's a gorgeous sculpt. Yeah. Oh, God. these. I mean, this this Gorgon is she's she's stunning. I mean, um, not, yeah, it's a very cool. Like, I'm I'm surprised it's the only one that actually has legs aside yeah, from the the sisters. Has legs, and her skirt is made up in such a way that it looks like scales for. Yeah, I believe uh, that's. I believe her outfit is uh, Stino's outfit. Yes, uh, but that I mean just. Just a stunning figure. Oh, it looks cool. Oh yeah, I mean she's she's super cool. Um, and of course her little her little blue shield, which uh, yeah. a little little easier to get on the females for the most part. But we uh, we learned some things from the last reviews we did. Of course, uh, people talked about which we kind of discussed a little bit in the review was taking the hand off and attaching it, and then reconnecting it through the shield so she can actually hold on to the handle that's on the inside there. But uh, just this this amazing translucent figure. Uh, in all her glory is pretty darn cool. We're gonna put her back in there because we've talked about the I mean, articulation. They, they do, if you can see in the back, they do come with um, more accessories. Yes, they do. That are, Oops. That are, oh, oh no, he fell out. Oh no. She's got a, a blue uh, a blue spear that I'm not gonna pull out of the box here. This, yeah, and she's got the the, the Gorgon skull Gorgon, hat. Yeah, and the sword. She, yeah, she's got the the skull hat. And again, man, they just went above and beyond. Oh yeah. This stuff. Absolutely. It's so cool. Absolutely. Um, and then of course you're sp our Spartan here, a Spartan, a Spartan, a Spartan. Um, an, another amazing translucent character. I mean, just uh, just this 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 ghostly green look to him, which is pretty darn cool. Yeah, you can see these guys marching up the river sticks. Oh yeah, um, of course him with his uh, his sword here, which is nice. Which actually is. Uh, Weapons are a little hard to get in their hands because you kind of have to, much like modern Joes. Much like modern Joes or Star Wars figures. Yeah, you kind of have to pry the hands apart a little bit to get them in there. But uh, again, like we said, we talked about the articulation in the past uh, in the last uh, review we did of the Wave 1. Yeah, I don't think we should really like go too much into necessarily the, the articulation and all that stuff. I mean, we've, we've looked at all that stuff, but just just show off like what these things look like oh, yeah. is, is just their, 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 their works of art. Um, there are some issues with some of them, like this... This translucent shield has some warping, eh. as you can see. Um, just some very slight warping, which Dave can some probably... Some of that is, is probably because that plastic is, is a little softer. Yes. It's translucent. And it's something more than likely Dave could fix. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or anyone could fix by a hair dryer, a hair dryer. putting it in cold water and, you know. I, I will sort of jump ahead to the accessory sets. One thing that I recommend, especially with the Greaves... Is uh, the, the grease and the bracers is, is using a hairdryer on those? Yes. they are. They fit very tightly, especially yes. on the male figures. Very um, snug. Yes. So you you need to kind of heat them up so that you can get them scooted on properly. Yeah. So the the afterlife Spartan versus Gorgon were uh, the that. yeah the celestial Perseus versus Medusa. Now this is a figure we actually saw these figures in person a while back. We saw a lot of these uh, at, at Jocon. At Jocon, we saw a lot of these, and this was uh, in pre production. Just was amazing. Oh uh, well, they came out really well. And these uh, these figures are, are just, I mean, they're just. And again, beautiful. if you notice on the shield, you have uh, the constellations. Yeah, the constellations, the Hydra and Perseus. Yes, uh, just 
Just gorgeous. Whoa. Whoa. That was static electricity holding that sucker in. But yeah, like Dave said, there's the uh, the, the the constellation for the, uh, the snake constellation there, which is pretty cool. And then we've got our Medusa here, who this... Now these figures, these figures are just, uh, just gorgeous. And of course her tail, um, the tail is of course again her ball jointed. Yeah. So to kind of... Um, they will pop off a little bit. Yes, but... they will pop off a little bit. But you can, I mean, just look, look at the details on this. The star field, the paint job on this. Um, these are spectacular. Uh, just, I mean, simply, stunningly gorgeous, gorgeous work. Um, that boss fight really... And it was one of those things, like, in the actual Kickstarter, you're looking at it like, yeah, okay, it's neat, but what's what's the point of it? And you get it in hand, and it's just gorgeous. Just stunning. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's so cool. That is beautiful. I mean, this just this work is just beautiful on her. Um, and it's all translucent, this very smoky yeah. translucent plastic, which works out so beautifully well. Uh, but my God, I mean, just... I mean, you can see her glitter in the lights, like the, the paint, the way the paint and the translucent plastic plays with itself as it's... Um, you know, it's just, just is marvelous. Um, and of course the ball jointed tail, which is, you know, one of the big, one of the big points of this, of this line with the Gorgons is what, you know, one of the things that made Dave happiest about, I think. Oh yeah. Was, uh, was the articulated snake bodies. Yes, was the articulated snake bodies. And we've talked about it already. People have already made a ton of, uh, customs for Galobulus and we've seen a lot of, a uh, lot more customs coming out and there's the, uh, there's the constellation on the Spartan shield there. It's pretty cool. The Perseus, yeah. The Perseus. He's just as just as cool looking. I mean, you know, the stars on his shoulder that run down his body here. Um, I he's a little bit. It's a little easier to see the sparkle on him than the Gorgon, just because the armor and underneath the armor he's got. You know, the the armor is translucent. This kind of smoky translucent. Uh, you know, there's some purple in him. You can see some purple there along his shoulder, along his pecs here. The head's got a little purple on it. Um, I'm just, just gorgeous. I mean, my God, like Dave said, above and beyond. Um, uh, yeah, they are just, they're, yeah. it's art. Yes. And of course, they, they come with the same kind of weapons that everyone else does. And the, all the weapons are, are in this smoky kind of, whoops, um, you know, you've got a translucent Perseus helmet back here uh, in the package and that one. Like, like Dave said, we're not going to take everything out and show you because... Uh, we're not gonna get into, you know, I mean we've done the articulation it's it's an amazing amount of full articulation on everything we'll, yes. we'll play with the skeleton because we haven't seen him before yes we have not seen the skeleton um, so that's, uh, but uh but the actual figures are basically like what we looked at before I mean yes. I, but but I do believe in showing what they look like because the, the just the look of the toys just the, yes. the paint and the, the detail is, is is worth noting it's pretty pretty phenomenal uh, we've got our two little our two little boxed figures here the uh, precursor Medusa here and the uh, Tartarus, Tartarus Guard, yeah. Guardian of the Underworld. Now the Tartarus Guard here, I believe again a, another super cool paint job. Yes, um, she uses the Amazon Warrior. Yes, she body, does. Her but, shield here, I love. I love the look of her shield. A lot of a lot of purple. The forks there. I'm not even gonna try to guess which which way it goes. She. But if you notice, she has like a purple skeleton painted on yes. her. Yes. I mean, look how amazing that is. I mean, just just gorgeous. Um, and she does have uh, she I believe she has, a, she has a pony chest she has a pony tail, yes, that she so had. you can wear that or you can have the helmet yes so that's kind of cool and even though yes there's a big hole in the back of her head well it's not... she'll either have the ponytail or the helmet exactly oh my god so but uh, yeah like Dave said just just this beautiful this purple skeleton tied into her it's there it's very striking it's yes. very cool it's very gorgeous um, and her weapons are all you know the the and that's that's one that I'm sad is kind of an exclusive because that would be a great armor. The, the accessories here, as you can see, are purple and gold there, and uh, the weapons and stuff are gold. And again, we we've seen all of the weapons and the accessories um, before, but yeah, just uh, she's just a, a gorgeous looking figure overall. Just very uh, striking. Yes, very striking. And Dave's got a lot of work to put these on his shelves. Yeah, uh, Medusa precursor here is pretty uh, cool. Go go the other end. Oh, okay. Oh, Dave. Dave taking Medusa from the bottom. Jeez. Yeah. Dirty boy. Uh, Precursed Medusa here is uh, is pretty uh, pretty cool. Of course, it's just, it's uh, it uses the, um, is the head sculpt here? No, I believe it's a different head sculpt. I believe the... It is. Uh, it's a different, uh, it's different, a different Medusa. It's a, it's a calm Medusa. The, the other Medusa, the carded Medusa, has an angry yes. face. And of course, as Dave said, she, you know, she's green already. She is green already. She's already got snakes in her hair. Uh, but she's a Gorgon, so this is before the Gorgons got their tails, I'm guessing. 
Cause is that, yeah, was she's that cursed. Yeah, yeah the, according to the story, she's cursed. Um, the three, the once beautiful Medusa was a glory to behold, one of the three alluring Gorgon sisters. Medusa's visage was by far the most amazing, although the Gorgon sisters could turn them into stone at will. Medusa had never exercised his cruel magic. All she wanted was to please the gods and gain their favor. She quickly caught the eye of Poseidon, and he pursued her, reaching out to Athena for protection. She was trapped in Athena's temple, cornered and brutalized by the sea god. Viewing this as a desecration of her temple, an infuriated Athena cursed Medusa, stripping away her beauty and turning her into the most monstrous of the Gorgons. Because the uh, Greek gods were jerks. Yeah, pretty much. But gorgeous figure, and of course her accessories, this uh, the bone kind of painting on the accessories on these normal ones are just... Uh, Stunning too, because there's so much detail in the paint job as you can see the different. Yeah, and you know, considering that we live in an era of like Playmates and even GI Joe and even some Star Wars stuff has gotten to the point that it's all whatever color it's molded in. Yeah. You know, to see the just the amount of detail on an accessory, where they they painted the handle or they they've done a wash, it's it's incredible. Yeah, it's it's stunning to see that and be like, oh. I mean, we're just gonna. I mean, as we go through these, we're just gonna keep repeating ourselves. Yes. The traveling exclusive, the traveling con exclusive. Yeah. If you want to start into that one, while I put the undead warrior away. versus yeah. the ringneck gorgon. Um, Here, you want to put precursor? Oh god. Let's go for a little bit. And that's again another one that's this very, uh, this very. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with the kind of snake that's supposed to be based on, but I, I, I don't want to be. I love the again the shields for the uh, the gorgons are all. Pretty much the same for the Yeah, I believe that's based on a, an actual shield design, a, a classic shield design with Medusa's head on the shield. From, yeah. I believe, I don't know. Of course, I, we, I get, could, we get another Gorgon warrior, which... Uh, cool color scheme. Yeah, it's very cool color scheme. Um, Blue and orange. The Illini Gorgon. Yes, the Illini Gorgon. Uh, and of course, if you haven't got a Gorgon yet, um, if you're going to buy any figure from the from this line, I suggest you buy a couple of the Gorgons, because they're... Just the, the simply some of the most stunning uh, designs of action figures to date, I think. Just the way they the work, the way the ball joints work, the way the skin hides the ball joints. Um, just it's pretty stunning. People have found ways to lengthen the tails, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, she's she's pretty. Uh, all this orange and purple on her. It's pretty. Uh, that face is a face only a mother gorgon could love. I actually, that's my. I, I kind of like that face better than the other one. The the the, the, the open the mouth jaw, striking face. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I think it's a really cool. It's a really cool look. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and of course, the the undead warrior is another translucent ghosty guy. Yeah, I think a, a little bit. Uh, oops, Get the shield out of there so I can get him out of here. Come out of there, ghosty dude. Here's his feet. Dun dun dun. There we go, Undead Warrior. Yeah, he's very, uh, very, uh, <laughs> translucent purple. Um, but, ah, ah! No, no. I lost a foot. There we go. But yeah, stunning. I mean, just translucent. I mean, everything. Like like Dave said, we're going to start to... That's so cool. Yeah. You start to, you start repeating oneself while, uh, while Dave puts that away. Oh. Um, yes, sir. A couple of the, uh, couple of the figures that I, I would like to look at is like uh, like Stone Fist here. It's pretty darn cool. Um, again, one of the uh, one of the stretch goal figures. And if you'll notice, I mean, even though the shield's the same shield, the design is completely different and unique. Yes. With the eye scratched out the on eyes. the little face. Yes. Um, I don't know if you can get it on camera. His helmet. Like see that see on the the artwork, it's got like it's jaws got painted on the side. Yeah. Yeah. The helmet actually has that. Yeah. You can see them. And we're not going to open a lot of these carded figures because they're... Yeah, again, we've, we've done the... The articulation is just, just is, is mind-blowing, high-end yeah. G.I. Joe stuff. Yeah, I mean, that Gorgon Hunter is just... I mean, Stone Fist, again, like Dave said, just the details. Like, the details on the shield of the eyes scratch, scratched out. The mouth on the on the helmet. I mean, the, the design work on his armor alone. I mean, just look at all the paint apps that are on that one. Just his just front armor alone. I mean, the, the paint apps for his fist, the face. I mean, just... A stunning, stunning, stunning figure. He seemed, during the Kickstarter, he seemed to be a fan favorite. Um, the Underworld Warrior, who, again, is just another piece of stunning workmanship uh, and painting apps. I mean, that... Like, just, he's made out of basalt, but you can see the, the cracks of yes, like, the lava or the fire within which is, him. Which is really cool. Of course, the, the face there is uh, 
you can kind of tell he's got glowing eyes, which is cool. Uh, just, just a, just a stunning friggin' figure. Uh, some of the Gorgons, like the, uh, the, the, the Calubria guard, who is yeah, Calubria, Calubria, which uh, again, Calubria. as you can see, neon colors on camera. Yeah, uh, camera, yeah. Camera, no this is another one of those cam. Yeah, she should hang out with Devastator because she's got that that yeah. color that the camera hates. Yeah, it's just that neon -y, uh Yeah, we'll uh, we'll fix a little bit in post, but uh, doesn't help much. But uh, yeah, just uh, just pretty pretty crazy looking. Uh, some of the other Gorgons, like the uh, the Green Mamba, Green Mamba, who's friggin' neat looking and scary. Um, just the the paint apps alone on the tail there are cool. Um, and that that green, that color green there, is just it's pretty stunning too. Um, we've got the uh, the Athenian warrior, who kind of has the. I mean, it's got the same. I mean, but look it's at basically the, yeah. I mean, it's basically the Spartan warrior, but uh, the details. Look at, look at the helmet though. The helmet yeah. is. Uh, the, Different helmet. Yeah, just the the difference. The again, the shield. Yeah, he's got the same shield as uh, Stone Fist, but with yeah. the eyes not scratched the out. The eyes not scratched out. So, um, and I believe he Stone Fist came from this same uh, from Athens. Um, he might have. Yeah, I believe he was an Athenian warrior at one time. Uh, yeah, I mean the design of the outfit and the shield probably means that he was. Yeah, but uh, I mean just as I quietly off camera. <laughs> Pretty cool though, defender of uh, defender of Athens there. We've got uh, we've got our uh, Amazon uh, our Amazon warrior from the Ares army. That's another one that I bought two of. Yes, uh, from the the female. But again, the shield showing the the race and just the the, the paint job on her. Yeah, that's her the, war I, paint. I love that shield. That that shield screams of like the old. When I was growing up, my vision of Greece, my my idea of Greece, were like the old urns you would see in museums with the, yes. those designs on yes. the side. And that just screams to me, you know, the, that, that kind of uh, image of antiquity. Yes, which is pretty cool. Which is very cool. We've got a, uh, Myrmidon, a Myrmidon. Myrmidon warrior, who's uh, really our first, uh, our first uh, man of color in this uh, in, in, in any of these waves. Our first African-American. Aside from uh, the Blanks, yeah. Our, aside well, from the Blanks. Not, he's, but... he's, he's not American. No. He well, may not be African. That's true. He, not 100% sure yeah. about the Myrmidons. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say, but uh, again, just a, an amazing like the scorpion shield there is pretty darn cool. Uh, really reminds me of the Scorpion King's army from from the the mummy films, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but very cool though the sword, the helmet. I mean, just again, just an amazing I mean, he's looking a, he's, figure. He's a dude. He's a badass. He's yeah, a he dude is. that wanders in and like yes. just kicks ass. We've got uh, we've got Steno, who's um, a gorgeous figure in here. I'm actually going to. Uh, so I thought they were mercenaries. Were they? Yeah. Actually, gonna take Steno out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Slide her card out because she's a figure that I think really deserves to be looked at up close and a little bit more up close and personal. I mean, the designs on her for being a Gorgon sister, again, but the the head the head sculpt alone. I mean, look at the cobras, the the snake design on her hair. And I don't, know, I don't know if it reads, but all those scales are sculpted. Oh yeah. All the, you, the you can see detail it. Detail is just, just stunning. I mean, her armor alone, which I believe there's uh, one of the accessory packs has her armor. Oh yeah, a couple of the accessory yeah. packs have her armor. That armor alone is just is. And then as we see the the ghost gorgon that we looked at earlier. Um, I mean, look at the gorgon. Yeah, look at yeah, the. Okay, well, yeah. The uh, the red. Yeah, there you go. Has her the has red. her armor down there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pretty darn pretty darn. I mean, she's just. She's stunning, and of course, she's one of the uh, the first ones with a. Uh, she comes with a staff. A I, was, staff. I was a slightly miffed that that one got warped. That's that's gonna have to spend some time with Mr. Hairdryer. Yeah, just to get it to go straight. But I again. love that you know, the the snake is painted gold. The little crystals painted purple. Yeah, I love that. I mean, like, the the staff itself is kind of this uh, copper brass looking. Yeah. Kind of looks green on camera. It's a little green in person, but uh, it's yeah, just, just so cool. Just stunning. Of course, the the snakes do hamper her head movement a little bit. Oh uh, well, yeah. But still, just a, a, a just an amazing figure for them to easily. The the Gorgon sisters are, are are my favorites of the whole line. Yeah, she's she's pretty. She's a very beautiful figure though. So uh, kudos to Boss Fight for that because that's just. Yes. Again, we keep we keep saying over and over again, so cool. But yeah, they are. Yeah, they're just they're all of them are just simply stunning. We'll we'll put the backer card back on her in a little bit. We've got Leonidas. our good friend Leonidas, who uh, of course famously from uh, Three Hundred. 
Uh, but of course, Leonidas was an actual Greek figure. Yeah, yeah an actual Spartan figure. Yeah, an actual Spartan. But uh, I love the you know the Spartan symbol on the shield and just the, the look of his, his armor. He, you know, we've got the they they you know they, we've got the bearded Leonidas. Yeah, they have it as an A too. What's that? Didn't we get yelled at because we had it like as an A? Yeah. 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 We did, and it's that's it's you know. Yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, very much uh, who played Leonidas? Was it uh, Gerard Butler? It was. Yes, very good. It, it, and they very much have. Uh, yes, made it, it was look very like, good. Um, they they very much made it look like well, Gerard Butler well, there. Well done, patting yourself on the back. There. Yeah, thank you. Um, so uh, very cool. I love the sword. You know the the Spartan swords there are always are, are very. Uh, they're very easy to like. You see that, and you're like, "Oh, that's a Spartan sword," just because the way that it's designed. It's got that leaf blade, um, yes, where it widens out towards the tip. Yeah, which is pretty darn cool. So. Yeah, which is and a... the, the helmet, which is pretty amazing there. So, very, very cool, uh, very cool figure there. Uh, we've got the disciple of Yurley, of Yurley which and uh, again, and she doesn't turn them to stone; she poisons them so yes. that they become her. her minions. But of course, she's you know the the snake shield there, which again we've talked about the shields being these. Uh, you know these these separate uh, individualized uh, shields, yeah. basically. But he's you know the very sickly, ghostly green. Um, you can kind of see it. He's got uh, the paint apps. He actually has tattoos on his arms, which is uh, shown on the cards. But those tattoos are actually there. They're actually you know. They're oh yeah, I, I I don't think there's anything in the art that's not on the figure. No, anything in this 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 control art they did for all of these characters is is represented on these figures, including his red glowing eyes. So. Um, I mean, just darn cool. And the last but not least, uh, I think my favorite of the bunch, just because she's uh, she's she's a sexy Gorgon sister, is Yurle herself. the The most human looking of the Gorgons, I believe. Yeah. And I love you know she comes with the the big, uh, crazy, windy, twisty, speary like Gorgon weapons. Yeah. And, um, she's got that very uh, um, as the youngest of the Gorgon sisters. Uh, Let's see. She secretly finds humor in Athena's cursing of her sister Medusa, yet she revels in the blood she spills while defending her sibling. Uh, Yurle chooses not to turn her male enemies into stone, instead using her mind-controlling venom to build herself an army of human slaves. Um, Yurle clearly had plans of her own that didn't appear to include Stano or Medusa. Unknown to her sisters, she was amassing an army of hypnotized slaves, Patient and calculating, she never seemed to carry out her unknown plans, and much like Steph, uh, Steno, there is no record of her or her disciples' deaths. Could they really have remained hidden all this time? So, pretty pretty cool. They've, they've really developed a story that if you read... Yeah, they're doing the whole kind of... It, it, the impression I get is kind of a time bandit Yeah. Gathering everything together, sort of a toy finity. Yeah, so if you read the backs of all the cards, they give you not only oh, yeah, the historical they, yeah. documentation, but also the, the temporal... Uh, the, the, yeah, the, the teasing for something yeah, larger. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, again, just uh, just stunning. And then we've saved the best for last. I'm going to leave this card up, just okay. so you can just so we can see this a little better. But of course, we showed off a bunch of the skeletons. Yeah. He's right here. Well, I wanted to use a different one. Oh. Okay. I, want, I wanted to have. He's our he's our control subject. Oh. Okay. We'll do the we'll do the pink one. All right. We'll do the pink one. We'll the, pink one. the skeletons. Are pretty darn stunning, uh, figure-wise. I'll, I'll dig out the others so that we can show them off color-wise. Yes. So they, they translucent purple one. Yes. Very cool. Have a yellow one that I've already cannibalized for my Skeletor, <laughs> Skeletor custom. Skeletor custom. You just keep talking. I'm, I'm... Actually, you know what? Give me give me a normal color because unfortunately, yeah. Oh, it's go. another one. Yeah, of those. yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh... No, those troublemaker colors. Yeah. Those, those trans beginning, beginning you think it's your camera, Chief. It could be, but the translucent colors do not uh, not, not read well. well. No, no, they're they're the super. Pink one's not translucent. Well, you, I mean, you know. What I mean. No. Let's do let's do our regular uh, pretty much our regular bone white figure here. I think that might be it for the skeletons. Let's see. Our no, don't worry about it. What are you breaking over there? Um, Our skeletons. Now these are, and Dave, of course, has got a control one, which has got the joints and everything uh, popped out on it. So we'll take a closer look at that. But uh, I think you see the skeletons here are just. Uh, I mean, the, the jaws are articulated. Look at that. Look, look at that. Uh, 
you know, we've got they just the, the ball joints of the articulate at the shoulders, um, the elbows here are jointed. Yep. Um, you know, the hands are jointed. They can uh, they can swivel up and down and back and forth, which is pretty darn cool. Um, the bodies themselves here, as you can see, look at that. There's a little uh, a little joint, or like a little ball joint there that connects them. The hips. I mean, just just like a regular human, for gosh sakes, which most of the articulation is, um, you know, double jointed knees, um, ankle joints, and the ankles have the little rockers and stuff in them. I mean, yeah, uh, just stunning, stunning figures. These skeletons, just amazing, amazing. I mean, look at that. He's like, yeah. Um, the stuff that you can do with the skeletons, just you know, to have an army of posable skeleton figures this friggin' big at three quarter scale is is mind blowing. Oh, they totally like if if they're taking suggestions, you should totally do like a bag of like fifty of the regular bone colored ones. Oh yes, no, absolutely. People would buy them. Yes, they would. Um, just because I mean they're just just stunning figures. Now one little thing is um, they come with these little these yeah little it's, plastic it's probably pieces. hard to, to tell nope you can tell oh, you, these can, little, you can read little these little translucent pieces that come with them yes those are for um here's our little what yes. I call the Julia the Julia Child one we've we've prepared one in advance yes um some of them are for the feet so that they can plug into the, the pegs and then the others are for if you want to add some are of the spacers basically they're spacers for the the accessory sets the uh, the bracers and the greaves. Because they're designed, as I said, they fit very tightly on the male figures, um, but these guys are bones. They're very skinny, so these little things like add a little extra girth so that the things will stick on yeah. there. Uh, apparently, the female uh, the female accessories actually uh, fit the uh, skeleton, fit, fit the skeleton pretty well, but yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of those because those are my Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, leave it to Dave. But uh, just, I mean, just perfectly stunning, gorgeous figures for yeah. for these waves. Here we go. You can really see them with my arm there. But like I said, just the, the articulation alone on these, on the skeletons are just, ah, Dave, Dave, <laughs> Baru, Baru. I just wanted some blue milk. Blue milk, blue milk. I need some blue milk. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pretty stunning figures from Boss Fight with the Vitruvian Hacks. There you go, guys. There's a look at Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks waves. Two, three, four. Um, all of these amazing, amazing Kickstarter bonus figures. We, you know, we take a look at some of the blanks. The skeletons. The skeletons are freaking awesome. Um, amazing stuff from Boss Fight Studios. Uh, you can actually go to BossFight.com. BossFightStudios.com. so. And check out, yes, BossFightStudio.com. There it is. You go to BossFightStudio.com and you can order uh, a number of these are available. Uh, I imagine some of them that are sold out, they'll make available eventually again down the road. Hopefully. Um, but uh, it, this is this is the time to get in on the ground floor. And if you didn't do the Kickstarter, you know you won't be able to get a bunch of these Kickstarter bonus figures. But you'll be able to get the main wave, some of the skeletons, the blanks, and stuff like that. Certain color uh color uh i can't think of the word now variation certain thank you <laughs> yeah i think with the skeleton the only one is the pink one that you can't get yes but uh, some great stuff so check out bossfightstudio.com uh give some love to our buddies over boss fight because they've done an amazing amazing tremendous job on these figures um so check them out uh gang check us out on toywheelorder.com as well as youtube.com slash toywheelorder hit subscribe mash the like button um here the skeleton's gonna mash the like button look the skeleton's like Mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. Make sure you check that out uh, and everything we have there to offer. So check that out. And gang, uh, until next time. Keep playing with your toys. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.